I'm working in the ICU this weekend, so I don't have time to record a new video. So I'm giving you a rerun, but look, stop complaining. You probably haven't even seen this one the first time around. Stop using hydralazine as a PRN antihypertensive in the ICU. Today, we're talking about a little bit of a pet peeve of mine, and that's the use of hydralazine in the ICU for PRN hypertension. Hydralazine is a terrible PRN antihypertensive. I hate hydralazine because it's a direct arterial vasodilator. And besides the fact that it's unpredictable in its effects, it causes reflex tachycardia. Once you drop the afterload on the heart, there is a reflex tachycardia. And so now great, you've dropped the blood pressure, but you've increased the heart rate. So due to this unpredictability, not really a great PRN medication. Instead, consider the use of labetalol. Labetalol has alpha and beta properties. So it causes arterial vasodilation, but also slows down the heart rate so you don't get reflex tachycardia. The other nice thing about Labella is that there's an IV and a PO form. So you can use the IVs for your PRNs and then once you find the steady state of where these PRNs are working, you convert that to PO. And the conversion is 10 to 1. If you give the person 10 milligrams of an IV push, that translates to 100 milligrams of PO. So it's easy to convert. And labetalol is much more predictable in its effects than using hydralazine. The only contraindication of labetalol is the patient is already bradycardic and hypertensive. You might not want to slow them down more with labetalol.